Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Just wanted to make a quick video before tomorrow's update, just showcasing a bunch of stuff that's coming with the update just to get you a little bit excited. I hope you're as excited as I am. If not, maybe this video will change that for you. And yeah, let's get into it here. So again, big thank you to Nuka Knights. If you want to see this full article, I will link it in the description and their YouTube channel that shows a lot of this stuff that you may not have been aware of. So look for that as well. Awesome site, awesome YouTube channel, everybody. But I think we all know by now we're getting some new expeditions. Two Atlantic City expeditions are coming. So we won't be going to the pit anymore or as much. And uh, one of the Atlantic City expeditions that is coming is called the Most Sensational Game. This is a deadly race against the Batsuri Twins with danger lurking around every corner. Both obstacles and opponents must be overcome to reach the goal. The game of all game takes place to the Atlantic City boardwalk where you meet the the Batsuri twins and in a dark atmosphere at the beginning. After fighting your way through the overgrown, you go on to the Atlantic's uh, aquarium. There you will also find a huge model of a blue whale. Overall, everything this aquarium is bathed in blue mood that is reminiscent of Bioshock. There you now make your way through the competitors and have to defeat them all in order to ultimately compete against the Batsuri twins. So this sounds like a really fun expedition. I'm I'm gonna say that these are gonna be so much better. Like, I don't know too much about them, to be honest, but I'm really looking to trying, or looking forward to trying them for the first time, and I'm just assuming they're gonna be so much better than the other ones, because a lot of people do complain that they have gotten uh, boring, but I, that's why I just feel Bethesda's gonna go over the top for these uh, expeditions, so just hoping for the best, really. And these are the plans from that first expedition, if you want to check over these, like an aquarium pillar, uh, some overgrown paints for weapons, um, the Batsuri Twins outfit, uh, sea animal pillars, mezzanine lights, an Atlantic City sign, a game show sign, um, a showstopper shotgun paint, lots of cool stuff to get from the... Uh, um, expedition and the other expedition is called tax evasion this is about billy belt buckles the mafia's accountant the family who fudges the books a bit in order to avoid paying the accountants and entertainers when you arrive in atlantic city random tasks await you at the beginning for example disposing of body parts and garbage bags on a garbage truck this sounds hilariously fun then you go to the casino and further tasks await you bugs need to be diffused auditors eliminated faulty slot machines looted etc in the end defeat buttercup and the auditors to save billy this one sounds like a ton of fun i i can't wait to do these um this and the circuit breaker and the scoreboard are probably my picks for why i'm most excited tomorrow let me know in the comments what you guys are most excited for i'd love to hear from you and these are the plans that you can get from doing this expedition which includes a 44 roulette paint atlantic city mechanical derby game which is huge i've seen pictures of it check out that nuka night site everybody if you want to see pictures for some of these um lesser devil plushy quentino's sign some atlantic city um, looks like casino games, card tables, dice table. Um, looking awesome. I can't wait to grind some of these rewards. And the new enemies that will be in the expeditions, the overgrown. These chaotic and mysterious enemies of nature have only one mission in their mind to spread. So kind of curious to see what these guys are like if they're any harder than the ones we have in the expeditions now. And of course the lesser devil. A new predatory cryptid that hunts and packs and use both powerful melee attacks and projectiles. So make sure you have blocker on with these guys. I have a feeling that they're going to hit pretty hard. And just to point out, we're getting more stamps or rewards in all expeditions. Both the Pit Expeditions and the Atlantic City Expeditions now give you more rewards than previously thought. The Pit Union Dues Expedition can now give up to 16 stamps, and the From Ashes to Fire, you can get 17 stamps. You can receive up to 20 stamps, each from the Atlantic City Expeditions, the most sensational game, and Tax Evasion, which we just talked about. You can also receive up to six legendary items. And thank you, Sugar Bombs, Rads, and Gilpo and Laser 3 there for you know data mining this um wouldn't be able to talk about this if it wasn't for you so thank you very much 
And yeah, just another reason to grind expeditions. Even the original ones. Um, I've been grinding them like crazy to get as many stamps as I can. I wish we could get the stamps that we're going to get for them in the update now. But uh, either way, still got a bunch of stamps. And of course, Season 15 is coming. It's a casino and gambling themed. There are numerous interesting new rewards. You can find a full list on the site that I will provide in the description. Like I said, check out Nuka Nights, everybody. The YouTube channel and their site is absolutely extremely informative informative and just so much more stuff that I didn't point out in this video. Um, here's some of the rewards as well from the scoreboard. Um, you can find the full list as well on the site, which I've already talked about this as well. So didn't want to really get into that. Um, the Circuit Breaker, of course, probably one of the biggest reasons I'm excited tomorrow. I can't wait to try this gun and maybe make a real overpowered pistol build. Really looking forward to it. Um, of course, of uh, course, uh, weather control stations now as well. We're going to be able to have a clear sky, snow, and a night themed. And if you didn't know, here's a description of the weather control stations. Pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to put them in your camp and it's going to change the weather around. So if you have like a rad storm at your camp, you can probably just put one of these down and avoid having that. Or if it's nighttime and you want to build in light, you can probably just put the clear sky one down and then it'll make it a little bit brighter around, which will be extremely convenient for camp building so I'm looking forward to this as well as snow in the wasteland for the first time is awesome we're also getting new locations in the forest the coop Oregon cave or sorry Oregon cave Blue Ridge bunkhouse Oregon cave south forward station tango and Oregon cave north and settlers ridge so these are going to be very interesting to go to and check out I kind of can't wait to do that as well and there's a particular spot here that we're going to talk about as well that has some new plans that you can go there and purchase. I'm not sure what the currency is that you'll need to purchase these plans. Um, let's get into this here. New weapon and backpack plans at the Gil or, uh, Gilman Lumber Mill. Um, it was constructed a bit and the responders established a base there. In addition to numerous workbenches and NPCs, there's a vendor who will sell you these new weapon skins and the vault -Tec Survival Backpack for bottle caps. You can also find Bobblehead here uh, as well. Um, so that's awesome. We'll be able to use camp or, uh, caps to buy the new stuff. So I have tons of caps, so that's just another reason to uh, get rid of them. So that's awesome. I get a lot of comments of people actually... Um, having so much caps that we don't know what to do with at this point and trust me i hear you so looks like we have some stuff to go buy everybody which is uh, very nice because uh, with all the rare plans and whatnot you can get in all the events we've had recently i'm sure a lot of you've um, got a lot of caps um we're getting the level 20 loadouts for new players um with a new character you have the option of either going to level one from the vault or already level 20 with a basic equipment and a few perks for a build of your choice i will definitely make a video on this as well when i get a chance probably going over my choice for the best pick but but that'll probably be you know a week or so after the update so because i will want to test it thoroughly and just make sure you know i get a good pick for the best uh, beginners build there i'll probably go to level 50 on each one and see how it goes and of course we are getting some um sorry nerfs to enemies including the mr handy the angler the floaters as well so even the assaultron looks like it's getting nerfed so that's another thing to look forward to. I know a lot of people are upset over this, so another reason to hop on tomorrow, everybody. Let me know what you're most excited for. I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments. Just even more hype to get excited for tomorrow. And as you can tell, I'm just excited. And uh, as always, everybody, thank you so much for watching and uh, take care. Have a great night.